Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching videos addressed to me. A lot of I'm sorry Brad Mondos are gonna happen. That makes me think that there's gonna be a lot of hair disasters today. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too bad, but I'm definitely looking for a laugh today. Maybe a little hair disaster might be kind of fun. Is that bad to say? Am I not supposed to say that? And Saya also wanted to just pop in and say hi today. Say hi to your fans. She's like, mm -mm, I'm gonna go to sleep now. I don't wanna do this, daddy. Look at this big girl. Say bye to everybody. Bye guys. Today's video is sponsored by Care Of. Care Of helps you find the right vitamins personalized just for you. Care Of is formulated with clean ingredients and they're very transparent behind all the sourcing and research that goes into each of their products. Care Of's holistic online quiz makes it easy for you to know which vitamins and supplements you need to achieve your health and wellness goals. They ask you questions about diet, lifestyle, and personal health goals in order to make a customized plan using their research that is completely tailored to you. It's like getting a one-on-one -on -one consultation with a nutritionist. What's also great is they have an eco-friendly mindset and all their vitamin packs are compostable. Here's my little care of box. It's so freaking cute. Look at that pattern. Ooh. Um, it says, hi Brad, and all three of my vitamins are in here. I have a two veggie omega vitamins in here because I am vegan. So it's just to make sure that I get all the appropriate nutrients. We also have another vitamin in here that's really cute looking. It helps with my cognitive health and making sure I'm alert all the time. I just pull out a packet every day and just take one and it's super easy. We also have these cute little extra battery packs that you just put on your tongue and they dissolve in your mouth and it's just for energy throughout the day. We also have this super berry powder that can just be mixed in a drink and I love this stuff. It tastes so so freaking good. And this is just to make sure my body's all in order and good. And it also maintains great vascular health. You know, we are in the new year. We're in 2021. I really wanted to make it a priority this year to take care of my health and wake up early, go to bed early. And that's what I've been doing. And it makes me feel really good about myself to just, you know, pop those vitamins in and know that the inside is working great. And that's the most important part is when you feel good. You can take care of's quiz and see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you right now with my link right below. And make sure you use my code BRADMONDO50 for 50% off for your first month at care of. And now let's get into things. Let's watch some people ruin their hair. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video from a channel called Shats Shenanigans. And this is called How To Removing Color With Bleach Bath Turns To Fail. Brad Mondo, enjoy the laughs. I hope I do enjoy the laughs and I don't cry at all today. I'm gonna try and attempt a bleach bath because I don't wanna full on bleach my hair, but I just wanna lift my color out because I'm gonna be adding color throughout the bottom of my hair. I'm not gonna be applying it to my roots, only to my midsections and down to my tips. I think this is a great idea. It looks like you have a lot of buildup of some kind of toner or something over your existing blonde hair and you need to get that off. It's like a little like, mm, making it a little dull and a little multicolored and I'm not really feeling it. This whole look you have going on, it's not exactly for for me. And if it's for you, then girl, get it. For some reason, I feel like it's not for you either. Okay, typically you're always supposed to use like 10 or 20 at the max. I really want to get up to a 20 because I want a little bit more of a lift. I'm going to dilute my 30 with 10 to bring it down to 20. All you gotta do is add the two developers together, so 30 and 10, and divide by two, and that's when you get what developer it turns into. That's kind of the rule of thumb hairstylists use, so you're getting a 20 volume when you add 30 and 10 together. I think that'll be perfect though. 20 volume is a great idea. Then I'm gonna add some Violet Crush. I really don't know how much purple shampoo I should use. I'm trying to use this to try to tone it as I bleach. I don't know. I have to say, I've never used a purple shampoo when doing a bleach bath. Seems interesting, seems like it would work. Seems Seems like maybe not at the same time. As long as you get that lathering moment going on, it'll be good. And yes, guys, this is the one time that bleach should lather. I don't know if you ever thought I would say that, but this is it. Okay, hopefully you guys can see I added this mirror. And we're sectioning. I love it. I'm just gonna be bleaching from here down and I gotta go fast. I guess worst case scenario, I'll just dye my hair purple. I went ahead and I just jumped in and already screwed up because I touched my roots like I said I wasn't going to do. Girl, why are we doing the roots? <laughs> and then I decided it was a wonderful idea to go ahead and get my top half too that I swore I wasn't going to touch because I wanted to get rid of that stubborn yellow. Awesome. Look how precise I am making sure it's saturated with bleach. I think it's actually a good idea that she did that because it was all kind of looking a little bit of a mess. By a little, I mean like a lot. It was kind of awful. All right, let's just cut to the chase here. We get it, you put bleach in your hair. I wanna 
gonna see what happens next. Typically we apply a bleach bath on damp hair. It would have been better if you had applied a little water there. That way you get that lathering. She kind of just applied this as if it was just regular bleach without shampoo in it. So it was kind of no purpose of putting the shampoo in. I bagged up, I'm gonna let it sit on my head. I'm glad she bagged it. That way we can keep the heat in and process that lightener faster and allow it to not dry out as fast. So we're gonna get that moisture in there to keep it processing and keep it going. Bleach loves moisture. Um, I washed it out and again, it lifted so well. I really think that the dilution didn't work. Yeah, it's cause you didn't do it correctly, but it's okay. Um, I'm toning it now with this stuff. It's like a lavender moon, so it's like a light purple. I'm gonna let this process for about 20 minutes. This is what it looks like. It did really well. That looks a lot better. Still not perfect, but I will take it. There's still that hint of yellow. And this is where I royally ducked up. I should have gone with the T18 instead of this. And with uh, Wella 050 and see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll have like blue silver hair. Why are we using 050? That's like literally blue pigment. I'm 90% sure it's an additive for other Wella colors. So you don't actually use that as just your only color you can, but it's really to be combined with other things like T18 if you need extra toning properties. Your hair is about to go slate gray. <laughs> I have learned my lesson. Oh my God. Yes, I did. We are never using that toner again. It's not even blue, it's like mucky gray. Honestly, one of the worst colors I've ever seen. Please fix it somehow. Okay, I am going to have Arctic Fox uh, Ritual and Wrath mixed together on top, blended down to the bottom to Arctic Rush's Purple Rain. Mm. A little worried because her hair is already gray um, and she's gonna put purple over it. it. Still might be a little mucky looking, but it might be fine. It's okay to put purple over a gray color. You know, they're not gonna cancel each other out. They're actually gonna work together, but I don't know what's gonna happen really. But she's still sectioning and I'm happy with that. You know, that's all I'm asking for these days is just some sectioning. Top part is that maroon color. It's dyed, it's sitting. I'm gonna let it sit here for like 30 minutes. The bottom part is purple. <laughs> I'm scared. You guys. Ah. What the f Oh my gosh, you guys. It turned out so pretty. No, 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 no. I am in love. Like this was the best mistake of my entire life. I'm thankful I learned a lesson and I got outside of my comfort zone. And let me just tell you, okay. I think I speak for all of us when I say what the f how did we get here? And why does it look so good? You look so fun. I want to be your friend. This is your color. Your hair looks so healthy. This is one of the most gorgeous transformations I've ever seen that was a total accident. Great job. Oh my God, so sick. Next video is by Meredith Reeves. And this is called Brad Mondo. I am so sorry. Mm, I'm scared, mom. Take me home. Today, I am going to be dyeing my hair again. And I'm actually really scared because I am bleaching both sides of my hair. One side will be pink and the other side will be green. Okay, listen, I've done this look before. It was cute. However, girl, you got a lot of going on with your hair. And I just don't know if you got the talent to do this, babe. She told me use this extra strength powder lightener. We're gonna use this. And she said use 40 volume. And she said, don't use a lot of it. I told her, I don't care if my hair falls out that much. At least you're setting yourself up for success um, because your hair is probably gonna fall off. Why are we using 40 volume? 30 is just fine, darling. Okay, so we are sectioning slightly. So again, I'm happy. She is, however, doing something very wrong. And I know you guys might not know this, but uh, in this case, why are we applying to the ends first? Those are the lightest parts of your hair, girl. You're gonna wanna apply it to the roots first because your roots are really, really dark or else you're gonna end up with dark roots again and over-processed ends that are going to fall out. I hate this for you. We just need to hurry up and bleach this part so we can rinse it out. I don't want my hair to fall out. Please, I don't want to miss no spots. You're gonna miss spots. Have you seen the way your friends are sectioning your hair and the ends are all dry and they're trying to section it? It's such a f 
Okay, can we just rinse out the bottom and leave the top? Can we do it in the bathtub? Girl, yeah, I feel like yeah. when you rinse out the bottom, it's gonna take some out the roots, though. This is so bad. No, just, 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 just look like, at how my hair looks. <laughs> can you please? Can you please? Help me? And we just have a little fun. <laughs> oh. I just don't want to just out. Finally lifting my blue color. I took it out of the bottom because I really didn't want it to make my hair fall out. I'm very happy that she rinsed the bleach out of the bottoms of her hair because yeah, if she left it on, it probably would have been crisp. P. And now we're waiting for the roots to process. I just hope that she leaves it on long enough so they aren't pissy piss 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 yellow. The colors are these colors, the green and the pink. If you have yellow in your hair, it'll just make a really bright green. And the pink, it's gonna be more of like a golden pink, which is also fine. These are good colors for the scenario that we're dealing with right now. There are so many spots of dark hair. You literally had one job and it was just to put it around the primers of your head. Here you got a bald spot now. No. No, I'm not joking. Girl, no, no, no. The way you lift it up, look. Wait. Oh, <gasps> you see it tonight? Is that not a ball spot? I think it's just really light right there. I think it's just really light right there. Girl, it's the black. Your roots, like your hair, is black right here. So it's oh, gonna probably, it's like why darker. Why is it black? <laughs> she goes, why is it black? Because you miss all the spots. You didn't do anything. Also, this green color is kind of ugly. I said it. I got it out of my system. I said it. Okay, guys. So this is my finishing hair look for today. We had to mess up somewhere. There's yellow right here. And then there's a little purple back in the back, but you can't really see it that good. I'm not mad at it. I actually think it looks pretty good. I don't think anything is wrong with it, but it is really dead. It's giving me holiday vibes, Christmas tree. Next time I would like more of like a hot pink on you with more of a turquoise on the other side. If you didn't tell me it was pink and, and whatever you else you chose, I would think this is green and red. Let's get those roots colored properly. Let's just section everything out from bottom to top and then do a nice different variation of two colors. Okay, thanks so much. And uh, yes, thank you for saying sorry because I my feelings are hurt. <laughs> You're still beautiful though. I love you. Okay, moving on. Next video is called I Bleached My Hair So You Didn't Have do. Sorry, Brad Mondo, it failed. And this is by Annie Forever. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I think I'm gonna try and bleach my own hair. I know I have to do just like one side of the front or both. I'm just so scared it's gonna go ginger because look, you can see right now all the different colors in my hair. Okay, we are doing nice sections, very, very small. We're starting at the ends. I see you've been learning and I appreciate it. However, I do always say, put a lot of bleach on your hair. So you clearly you weren't taking notes because this is the tiniest amount of bleach you could possibly put on your head. I mean, she's being very thorough, I have to say. And we're putting a foil on. Yay! And it's looking uneven, very uneven. Okay, perfect, to be expected. So I'm just gonna do my roots now and just hope for the best. So she left the mids and ends on until they turned a little bit like yellowy orange, which is what I always recommend. And now she's doing the roots, which I think is such a great plan. I don't know how this is gonna go wrong. I mean, I feel like she just has very stubborn color in her hair that's like not gonna come out, which is kind of sad because she's doing everything right. That was a very chunky section she took out though. That's like a lot of hair. It is light, but don't know if to leave on any longer. What I would have had to do is foil every single little piece and put so much lightener on it that way it never dries out and you get the maximum amount of heat. It would have lifted it perfectly, a little bit of damage. This way, you know, you're just gonna have to do it multiple times until it gets really nice and blonde. I don't think it's me light enough. Oh, I know it's orange, my love. Kind of interesting that her midsection is so bad and her roots and ends are really nice looking. Oh. Oh, we're putting the purple right over the orange. That way it turns mucky gray. Perfect. Unless the purple's dark enough to cover, which probably not. Okay, this isn't finished. Like, it is bad, but it's not that bad. Please like, because I just want myself for a traumatic time doing this, so. That end shot, I get your vision. You just need to lighten those middle sections that are orange again. Do the exact same process on just that middle part. Lighten it nice and bright, and then tone it again, and actually, you'll get a beautiful color. You actually did quite well for the palette you were working with and everything that was going on with your hair. So bravo, but also like, no, no. Better luck next time.
I don't know what this is, but okay. All right, so we definitely had some hair disasters today. I feel sad for some of these people today and hopefully next time they learn their lesson and, and maybe don't do it themselves or do it better next time. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do right down below right there. You can also hit the like button and the bell icon while you're there. That'll be great. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles all around me. We can have fun. We can hang out on social media. If you guys want color like mine, you can check out my hair color brand called X Mondo Color. Color. It is linked below. You can also head to X Mondo Color on Instagram. And if you guys want some amazing, fabulous hair care, you can check out X Mondo Hair at xmondohair.com, link below. And check us out on Instagram at X Mondo Hair. Make sure you guys text me at my number right here. It'll notify you every time I post a new video. I do really see all your messages. And if you guys text me right now, I'll be texting a few of you right back. I have an amazing, gorgeous Extra Life merch line now available. It's all right here. If you like to shop it, it's linked right below. So check it out. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Katie. She says, hey Brad, my hair is so, so boring. I used to be blonde and thriving, but since lockdown, it was too hard to manage and I went dark brown. Loved it, but now I'm bored. I have warm undertones and want some color, but no clue what to do. I am picturing a beautiful, deep mahogany, like a really, really rich red. I'll put a little reference right here. I think that would look incredible on you. Plus, when you lift this dark color out of your hair, you're gonna have a lot of red to deal with, so you might as well just go red. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo of it, and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.